Hi, this is Congressman Jeff Hortonberry, and first of all, let me thank you, Ms. Pollocky, for encouraging the students in your government classes to write to me. And students, thank you so much for your willingness to engage with me as your representative in the United States Congress. A number of you wrote to me about the important issue of safety, particularly on the high, Highway 81 near your homes. Uh, I've been there a number of times, and I recognize that that can be a dangerous intersection. So thank you for your awareness. The most important thing that you can do, obviously, is be aware and be safe. I have children. They drive. And for those of us who are parents, of course, we're always concerned about your well-being because that's a state highway, and it doesn't interact with national federal transportation funding. It's best to contact the state about those issues, but I'm glad to know about it. And in addition to that, our, your government at the national level is about to undertake a new type of process to look at aging infrastructure in our society. It's important that we have good bridges, good roads, and the necessary safety equipment to ensure that we can travel without harm to one another. This is an important part of also building out our economy. The other things that we're about to do in Washington are try to undertake a new health care bill that actually tries to better protect your families. As young people, you might not think about health care policy too much, but right now we have a situation of escalating costs that are harming many, many people. And at the same time, the new law, which has become controversial, nonetheless, it has helped a number of people as well. So moving forward, we actually have to do three things. Reduce cost, improve health care outcomes, while protecting vulnerable persons. The other issue that we're about to work on is some type of tax overall overhaul. In the United States, we have a lagging economy. Small business is not in the best position. And we think if we can take this complicated tax code and make it simple, ensuring that it's fair, making sure that we have enough revenues for the proper running of the federal government, but not disincentivizing people to work hard or businesses to hire new people, we think that's the right formula. So we'll be discussing these and many other issues in the coming months. But really, thank you so much for your willingness to engage with me and I hope to visit your school sometime soon.